You guys can see the benefit of that, right? Now I can get authenticated for browser stack without revealing my credentials to anyone, not even my coworkers. I can keep them safe on my system and run this for myself anytime that I want. And whenever another individual wants to run this test using their browser stack credentials, they just have to update these environmental variables for themselves. So sweet, right? I actually learned it from Sauce Labs documentation, which is why I love that documentation. But anyways, so that's the initialize method, which is gonna run whenever we execute our test. Let me actually update this browser stack test name to browser stack test one. Okay. So now we have the actual test. It just does a few things, whatever it does, that's cool. And then it has a teardown. The teardown we didn't have locally because we didn't need it, but now we need this for browser stack so that it actually ends our session, right? So that our test doesn't run forever for whatever reason and consume all of our resources. This would clean up after a specific period of time and kill the browser. So with all of that said, I believe that the test should be ready to run. Now for all of you non resharper users, as always, please note the using directives up here. Okay, so make sure you have those so that you can have everything working in this test. Okay, let's go ahead and run this test. Of course, if we look at the test explorer, we're not going to see the test here, right? We only see our two local tests. But when we build, I'm going to use F6. We built. Now, if you look at our test explorer, now we see an unrun browser stack test. Let's go ahead and run this selected test. If I go to automate, check it out, guys, you guys can see up here, my test is running, right? Safari 5.1 OS X no leopard. And you guys can see over here on the right is my automated test running, opening up browsers and doing things. And you guys can see it's on OS X snow leopard. How cool is that? Right? And the other benefit that I was telling you guys that you don't get from your own framework is you get, first of all, all of these visual logs. Look how cool they are. You get text logs with screenshots and then you get the visual logs. Oh, this is what I should have done. I need to enable browser stack debug equals true, but you would get visual logs here and it would be really cool. And also you even get a video, check it out an automatic recording. Look what's going on here. How sweet is that? And that's it and your test has successfully ran in the cloud and it's always going to live here forever. You can even search for the session in browser stack.